Hi there. So this will be a bonus reading for Capricorn. Hope you guys are all doing well. Sending all of you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Capricorn and will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to read through the description box as well, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am reopening personal readings for the month of June. Keep in mind, I do have a waiting list of about 80 plus people. So, and I'm not sure how long I will be keeping them open. Okay. But I have already um, contacted um, quite a few people um, to get readings scheduled for June. And I'm going to try to get to as many of them as possible. So if you're interested in that, you can find my email address in the description box. Reach out to me um, via email. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. All right, Capricorn. We have the Chariot. We have the Three of Cups. I'm letting you guys know, children are home today. So you guys may hear them in the background. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Strength. And Temperance. We have the Two of Swords on the back of the deck. So, I see Cancer energy here. I see Leo energy. I see Sagittarius energy here. Um, somebody's thinking about taking some type of action, but they I don't think they're actually doing it yet. But they are doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about doing so. Okay, um, could be a cancer that's thinking about you, but I think it's just more somebody is thinking about taking some sort of action. They're contemplating it. Could be to take action to communicate something. Three of cups, five of swords. Somebody feels defeated. Somebody kind of feels like all is lost or they feel defeated. I don't know how else to put it. They don't know what to do or they feel like something is like a lost cause or it's like somebody feels defeated that maybe they couldn't keep the two of you together or they couldn't, this was like a failed reconciliation or they, they couldn't bring this situation together. It, somebody's trying to work up the, the, that's why somebody's doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about, um, for like taking action towards you they're lacking courage but i do see that they are trying to work up the courage to speak to you or to move something along here seven of wands the, a big blockage is here is that somebody needs to take some time to heal somebody needs to take the time to really heal and recuperate because I see that that's a huge obstacle for this relationship or this connection or just in someone's life. All right. We have two of swords. So somebody could have blocked the other person or somebody's not, somebody's unable to see their own toxicity. Okay. Or eight of pentacles, four of pentacles. They were, somebody was not offering commitment or they were withholding commitment or stability in a relationship. Ace of swords in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's blocked somebody's you guys are not speaking to this person so this is a no contact situation this is you guys could be dealing with somebody that is, has is divorced or is going through a divorce okay um i just see that this person was withholding maybe commitment or stability they weren't stabilizing this with you or offering this to you and i see that you guys closed yourselves off to this person okay um Block them, possibly. Whew. 
All right, guys. So let's get some more clarity. Where's the deck? Where is the deck? This is like the game that I play every day while doing these readings. <laughs> I spy. <laughs> I don't know guys my desk really does look like an i spy book like a page out of an i spy book so <laughs> it's a hot mess sometimes or all the time really all right the chariot well played all right can I work with the chariot So I see that you guys took some type of action in regards to this connection and this person. And Spirit wants you to know that that was the right thing to do. So if you guys walked away from this person, yes, yes, <laughs> four of swords. If you guys withdrew from this person, Spirit saying that that was the right thing to do. All right. Um, whatever action you guys took towards this person, Spirit says that that was the right move. I don't know how else to put it. Um, they're applauding you in doing so. So now... What's about to happen is that this person has a fear of missing out on you. They feel very pressured to make a decision. Or maybe you guys are feeling... Let me just get a clarifier before I... What does this mean for my Capricorn? Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. Sticking tea and bread crumbing. Yeah, it's like... You guys maybe like reached out to the people close to you. To try to figure out, you know, get some advice in regards to this person. Some of you guys are feeling very pressured. You guys knew that you had to make some type of decision in regards to this person. I don't feel like you really wanted to have to be apart from this person or to walk away from them. Um, I know that you guys, I feel like you guys ultimately listened to your own inner voice when it came to this, but I do see that you guys were maybe talking to other people about what you should do in regards to this person. Um, because you guys were dealing with somebody that was being non-committal. They weren't putting in any effort. They are wanting to keep their options open. Okay, so... They weren't seeing your worth. There isn't really anything too great about this person. They're not, you know, you guys could probably do a lot better than this person. All right, four of swords. Don't worry about that. So this person's in their feelings, okay, guys? This person's in their feelings because you guys probably called them out on something and you withdrew from them. Um, if you guys think that this person does not care, that they're unfazed by this, that is not true. Um, I, yeah, I see you guys walk... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> this person is very salty that you walked away from them. They are very bitter, upset, annoyed. They feel wronged. Yeah. Definitely in their feelings about you. Three of Cups. What about Three of Cups? I see you guys are about to uh, be living your best life without this person. I see you guys are just going to be living your, I don't know how else to put it. I see you guys going out with your friends, having fun, getting drinks, going to parties, going out to the bar. Whatever it is that you like to do, you're going to be doing that. If you like spending money on yourself, I see you doing that. I see you looking good. All right. And what's the side of swords? <laughs> this person, so I see you guys living your best life, but... I, this person isn't going to be, this person's going to be going through it. They're go, they're going to either, they're already going through this or they're going to be going through something very frustrating, a very trying time, a lot of setbacks, a rough patch for sure. All right. But this person is realizing how reckless it was to put you on hold. This person thought that they could keep you waiting or put you on hold. They know that, that was dumb. Eight of Wands. I feel like you guys stuck up for yourselves. I don't know. I feel like you guys told this person about themselves. This person's been holding back from you, okay? They've been holding a lot back from you. And Yeah, now you guys are walking away from this person because you were sick of this person holding out on you. You got, it, it doesn't even have to be that this is a permanent goodbye. For some of you, it is a permanent goodbye. But I see you were over this person's crap. 
You are sick of them dismissing you. And you guys are not apologizing for walking away from this person. You know that you did. Spirit is even saying you did the right thing by walking away from this person. But all I'm seeing here is that once you guys walk away from this person, this person's going to be very desperate for your attention. Tell me more about strength. I see that it took a lot of strength for you to walk away from this person. What is this about? There's a lack of trust between you and this person. Even if you and this person are not speaking or you're taking a break from each other. It's like this person needs to tell you the truth. They need to be very blunt and open and honest with you. And they've been withholding from you. And it's like because they're lacking the courage to do so. But I see that even if you and this person aren't speaking, they're going to be keeping tabs on you or watching you. This Or if they're not, even, if they're not able to watch you, they're just going to be obsessing over you. This person's obsessed. They have like some very unhealthy habits, ways of thinking. Yeah, look at this. No chill. Lost your ability to act rational. Yeah, this person's going to be losing their damn mind. Sorry, guys. I try not to cuss, but to be honest, I'm a potty mouth. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys blocked this person. Or you set some type of firm boundary with them. This person was so, very self-absorbed. Prideful. It was always about them, okay? And I see that you guys blocked this person. And now they're in their feelings over you. They could also be realizing the deeper feelings and emotions that they do have for you. They're definitely in their feelings over you. And why do I feel like this person's never really expressed to you how they truly feel about you? And it's probably out of pride. We have the the, the strength card here. Temperance. Yeah, they're going to want to reconcile. This person's going to be coming back begging for another chance. Who did I do a reading for last night and it was like this? Taurus? Yeah. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Sag. This person's going to want to reconcile. And they're going to be coming back almost begging or literally begging for another chance. Say that they will do anything to, you know, make this right, to win you back over. Kiss and butt here. But we have this card here. We have Cap. What they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not. Lies, BS, faking. Yeah, you're not maybe going to believe this person. Can they believe this person or can they trust them? Mm -hmm. Something good has happened. So something has changed in this person when they come back. Spirit says luck is on your side. And this person has like definitely realized that they were taking you for granted. They're coming back towards you a lot more grateful than they were before. Okay. So Spirit says they are kind of coming back toward they are coming back towards you in a good energy. And they have some goals in mind. I feel like you guys are very focused on your goals and And your spirituality, your faith. And I feel like you guys don't have any time for somebody that's like low vibrational, that's going to hold you back, that bring that adds no value to your life. Because you guys got stuff to do, you know? So, I don't know. I feel like Spirit is saying that this person's being serious, that something has changed in them when they come back. Now it's like they're all for this relationship. They believe in you. They believe in this connection. They want you guys to be together. They they have a lot of faith and they faith in this connection. And they feel like it's something that's supposed to be coming together um, or should come together. I want to get more, uh, deeper, take a deeper look at this person and see more about what their intentions are, whether you can trust them or not, um, what the future could hold. See what you guys are manifesting apart from this person, get you some advice, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. I am off opening, reopening personal readings for the month of June. Um, check out my community post for more information about that. Um, but if you're interested in a personal reading, reach out to me via email. Um, 
And also don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye, guys.